everyone. everyone. So this is gonna be a vlog about basically our wedding planning. Yeah. So I'm sort of taking control of this vlog. I'll be editing it and doing everything for it. Um, but so we're gonna go month by month. So we've been engaged almost a month. Uh, by the time this comes out, it will be a month we'll be engaged. And so we're just gonna sort of go through like what we're doing in the planning process and and uh, how we get to our wedding basically everything that's involved in it yeah and so this is going to be the first series of this uh hopefully there'll be a lot i don't know we're going to do every month so yeah. it really will only last until well, i guess we get married until we get married um yeah. which is still an unknown um <laughs> We Which, don't have a date. Yeah, though. we'll get to that in a bit. But yeah, this is going to be the first series, so we hope you're uh, going to join us for all this and you get excited as well with us. And maybe, hopefully, the things that we talk about can help you out or inspire you, or maybe it just, you know, breaks you away from your everyday life and you can kind of, I don't know, live through us. Yeah. I don't know. But it's um, going to be cool. So we're not having a Disney wedding. Uh, we decided that it'll be for the budget that we're working with. And the people. And the people. We would only have about a third of the people in Disney that we would at X location. Um, so we're not going to have a Disney wedding. We will have a lot of Disney themes in our wedding, but it'll be subtle and yeah. classy and nice. Yeah. Like so. with Disney, around our budget, we're not going to really say much about our budget right now, but we can only do about 50. And as of right now, without... We've narrowed our guest list down, but there's still more to go. We're around like 174 or something like that. Yeah, just uh, inviting, but you know, not everyone's gonna come, obviously. Yeah. So um, that's sort of where we're at. We're, that's kind of why we're not doing a Disney wedding. Um, you know, our lives are so heavily centered around Disney. We work there, and you know, our apartment is obviously very Disney. So we just want something where a little more people can get involved in it. I proposed to Amanda on December 6, uh, 2018. And uh, it was actually at the Main Street uh, train station at Disney World. So if you haven't seen that, uh, or you don't know much about what happened, we actually do have a video and we'll probably put a card up here. If yeah. we remember, there's a card you can click on the little I. Click on that whenever you get a chance. That's gonna link you to our video from the proposal of the entire day. Um, and you can see exactly how it unfolded and I talk about a little bit what happened because it's a whole nother story itself. <laughs> But here's the ring, so I'm going to put this close here, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll put a picture. Yeah, maybe we'll put a picture <laughs> or something, because I'm not sure how, how you can see it. Um, um, I'll also show you on the side, this is the most important part. So the ring itself is a custom ring, it's something that Amanda really liked. And I wanted to put my own little touch on it, so if you can see, you probably can't. I'm not, we might put a picture. Yeah, there. there's a little <laughs> Mickey. Synopsis of the ring. I saw a picture of a ring I liked online. We didn't want to do an online retailer, so we went to the International Diamond Center, customized the ring for us. They did everything. They were so nice. Uh, guy we had, to work with. Chris, fantastic guy. Mm -hmm. Very um, personable, very happy. Uh, I couldn't say more about yeah. our. our he was uh, great. Yeah, he was, he was And wonderful. we even went back about a week or so after we got engaged uh, to get my ring sized. And that was free, and they were they did it that night. So I'm yeah. gonna go ahead and put this back on because I missed it <laughs> already. <laughs> my sister got engaged in 2016. I made her a wedding binder. She said since she's not as creative, uh, she bought me something. So <laughs> she bought me a, a wedding planner checklist. Um, so it's got a lot of cool stuff in it. Um, you know, obviously it starts with you know names and numbers and all that sort of stuff, but. It breaks down your budget for you. Um, where are the checklists? The checklists are very interesting. It goes sort of, it starts with 12 to 6 months before the wedding and it just goes on and on um, leading up to the wedding. Uh, you can mark down everything in here from your bridal party to the honeymoon and all that sort of stuff. It has a big section for notes in the back of it and then it also has a little folder in the back if you need to put any papers or anything in there. So this is very helpful. I've been looking through it a lot recently. Um, to go along with that, we sort of got this little planner. It's just from Walmart. It's just a 2019 planner. It's just a week by week. So we sort of have our appointments that are coming up in here written on it, just so we can sort of keep it all together on one page instead of like, oh, this is a dress appointment, this is a venue tour, and that one, um, this just sort of keeps it all together. And one thing I want to say while you're grabbing the rest of the stuff is we've already found out, I mean, Amanda is already a big planner, but it's very very important to plan and know where everything all the information you need you need to know where it is and where it's located in each uh, folder or, or notebook or whatever you need to break it down as much as you can because it helps significantly yeah it really does 
Um, so the next thing I have, sort of not really like planning-ish, but it's like nice to have. So if anyone knows David Tutera, uh, he's uh, like a wedding, a celebrity wedding planner and all that sort of stuff. So she had this for her wedding. It was the Big White Book of Weddings, a how-to style guide for, how-to guide for the savvy, stylish bride. How-to style. Uh, <laughs> so it's just uh, basically like an etiquette sort of book and like, um, gives you some planning tips, like uh, one tip that we are definitely taking from this. Uh, it asks you to make uh, three lists, so negotiable, non-negotiable, and neutral. So stuff that you really need at your wedding, stuff that, you know, okay, it's negotiable, like I can maybe do without it, or um, neutral, you don't care, you can delegate it to someone else, doesn't really matter if it's there or not. Um, so we actually haven't done that yet, but we're planning on doing it soon, probably today. Yeah. But this is cool, it's like a fun little read, and like it's something, if you're sort of stuck uh, in between wedding planning and like you know you're excited to do stuff but you don't have anything quite yet to do or um, you could just sort of read this and it'll sort of give you a little idea little tips you don't have to follow it you know word for word but i think it's cool she does. i do <laughs> oh i get to show this one sure do <gasps> i get to do something okay you it. <laughs> oh, well i did yeah so uh i bought amanda a magazine it's the knot um so it's just a it's the just engaged edition so you know, in here I don't even know what's in here. I didn't look. I just, she said she wanted a wedding planning book. I know she follows the knot, so I was like. That's it. This is it. Um, so you can probably go into a little bit more detail about it, but uh, you really wanted a magazine to kind of go through and get ideas from. So what else is helpful about these type of magazines? Um, so in here, like, it'll show, like, different designers um, for, like, wedding dresses and bridal party dresses. And if you like anything in here, you could sort of cut it out, bring it to your appointments, or just sort of have little ideas of what you want to do. Um, it'll give you little tips about your registry. There's um, like a little sample uh, from Minted of an invitation or a save the date. So it just sort of helps out with that little stuff, sort of getting planning. Most of it honestly is just pictures of dresses, <laughs> which is amazing. So the next thing we're going to talk about is actually on our tablet. So. Um, it is Google Sheets and Docs. So Google Sheets and Google Docs is like Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word, just on an online um, place. Yeah, Google Sheets, um, it's very useful. It's basically like Excel. So if you ever use Microsoft Excel, exact same thing. The only difference is this is Google version and what's really great about it is it's all online. So if I'm away somewhere or Amanda's, we're, we're not in the same place and we can't work on it together, uh, this allows us to do it from separate locations. So I can pull it up online, add things, edit things, delete things, same time she's doing it. And it so, automatically saves. Yeah, it's, it's a fantastic. So yeah. like, if you're looking to do something like that, Google Sheets is a way to go. Google Docs, which we'll get into in a minute. Which and, is just like Microsoft Word. We yeah. haven't done anything for the wedding on Google Docs yet, but it's just a nice thing to have. Um, so for uh, Google Sheets, what we're using it for is the guest list, the budget, yeah. uh, and the venues. So uh, with the guest list, we have a tab for the first name, their last name, um, their RSVP number, and if they're attending or not. So the RSVP number on the back of the RSVP card, uh, you can write down like a number. Instead of looking through the names and everything um, on your thing, you can just look for the number of the person and then you can mark it off uh, yes or no if they're attending or not, just so it's a little bit easier to yeah. figure it out. I've seen some tips online that you can use invisible ink so your guests don't feel like they're labeled by a number. I yeah. kind of like that idea. So we'll ours, see what we can find. Ours is only numbered for last name first. Like, there is no importance. It's all just a, oh, yeah. your last name first. starts with whatever the A, and it goes down from there. Yeah. Um, another thing that we have on here that Amanda mentioned is our venues. So we have our venues located here. Uh, the date that we contacted them, the date that they responded to us, and some comments we have about them, whether it's like, hey, it's our top choice, or things they said to us in the email. Or, um, you know, a little too pricey, you know, just that sort of yeah. stuff. And yeah, I'm sure you see Maui coming by. I think you saw him. He's <laughs> he's crazy right he's now. Around right now. Um, and then the other thing on here is we have our budget, which we've only purchased one thing so far. It's sort of, I marked it budget, but it's sort of like a purchased list. Yeah. right now so it's just what we've purchased for the wedding and and what it cost yeah. our last little planning tool that we have right now um is another app so it's the knot so uh the knot is a fantastic app you have everything here all in one place um you can put down your day uh you and your uh significant other's name um so basically they have checklists 
a uh, budgeter, a timeline. Uh, if you click the vendors tab right here, it'll show you reception venues, photographers, bridal salons, DJs, wedding bands, beauty, florist, and wedding planners. Uh, you click it, you put in um, your city or state or your zip code that you want to look around. You put in your filters. So my favorite filter would be the, um, the budget one. So you can put in uh, inexpensive, moderate, expensive, uh, just so you have an idea of what you're looking at. We yeah. liked some venues before we had really known a budget and known what they were going to cost uh, to find out they were in the expensive range. So Yeah, we knocked we knocked a couple off the list. Off. I'd say like two or three. And those two or three are really nice. They were and, nice, but I'm happy with what we have now. Yeah. Uh, they're in our price range and they're um, still really nice they're themselves. They're beautiful. Yeah. Uh, one thing I want to talk about uh, before we forget is that we have a wedding email. What it's really good for is, so when you go, well, I'll let you talk about this because you had experience with this. I did. So, uh, <laughs> like I said, uh, when my sister got married two years ago, we took her to a bridal show. And to save your place there, uh, you put in your email. Well, I used my email. That was a really big mistake. So, just last year I is when I stopped getting emails from the vendors and from advertisements and from everything from there, it clogged up my email. It was you got multiple a three, day. four, five a day. No matter if you unsubscribed or not, you would still get more. They sell off your email. It's just, it's crazy. It's madness. Make yourself a wedding email. Hey, Mel. I know you want some screen time. So there, say hi to there everyone. Hey, Mel. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, go. Sure. Um, so when, you're, when your wedding is over, you can just delete it from your phone or from whatever, and then you're not gonna get those emails anymore. Yeah. So uh, the Not app, was also really great for our guest list, so it'll help keep track of that. For our guest list, the way we started was we took the Excel sheet that my sister used for her wedding. There's a theme here. Yeah. I'm glad my sister got married before <laughs> I did because I wouldn't know where to start. Um, so we took that uh, guest list, we wrote it all on the Google Sheets, we alphabetized it, um, we took away people from her uh, husband's side of the family, added in Mitchell's side of the family. Um, and then what we did is we highlighted people in blue that we didn't think would be able to make it to the wedding for one reason or another, for travel reasons, or um, I don't know, just just because. Yeah. Uh, there's multiple reasons people won't be able to make it to your wedding. Right well, now, that's fine. Yeah. we're inviting 174. We're hoping for 150. Um, well, our expected is 150. Um, I don't know, people, not everyone's gonna show up. You can't expect yeah. everyone to show up. People have their own things going on, you yeah, know. Yeah, things planned so far in advance that you might yeah. not even know about. So it's okay, and especially with our families and stuff and what's going on, like, uh, we it is a distance for my family, um, but it would be a distance for our families either way if we would have had in Disney. So we already understood that some people aren't gonna be able to make it, and that's okay. We just wanna send them invites and let them know that everyone is important. So the next thing we did after our guest list was you have to look at venues. So your guest list will give you a good idea of how many people are coming to the wedding and that will give you a good idea of what venues to look at. Um, so where are we having our wedding? So we're having our wedding in New Jersey. Yeah. Which is where Amanda's from. Uh, so a lot of my family uh, is there and will be there. Um, I am inviting a lot of extended family, um, whereas that's not really something Mitchell was wanting to do. Um, basically, how we came to it was I wanted to have my wedding at home, my hometown, um, my church I went to when I was younger, uh, get ready in my house. Mitchell didn't really care where it was. Since we had already yeah. X'd out Disney, it was really just the best option for us. Um, his tra his family would have to travel regardless. It was to do D Disney or New Jersey, so yeah. it just made the most sense. We're really excited about it. I think it'll be really great. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So uh, how did we look at the venues? So uh, we actually used The Knot. So what we were talking about earlier, that app, we were going through that and looking through there and it has an excellent, um, what do I want to say, like a uh, filter. filter and categories, like it helps you really find what you're looking for. It really for. helps you narrow it down. Yeah, like there's, there's you can you can list it by like over, like expensive, um, average, yeah. moderate, things like that. Um, and it helped us out find some places. And we also did a Google search where we put in a radius of how far we really yeah. wanted to travel from the central location of the church. And uh, we found some of those places and then we went back to the knot because they had a little more information on there. The only thing that some of them don't have on the knot is pictures. Um, and if that was the case and we it was in our range and we were interested, we went, back, the yes, we went back to the website, which wasn't that big of a deal, but the knot, basically any wedding venue that's out there, 
is more than likely going to be on the not. Yeah. It's a lot of them that didn't uses. even have pictures. If they didn't have pictures, they had uh, a lot of reviews. Yeah. So a lot of people use the knot. It's a really, really great wedding planning tool. It's helped us a lot. So um, after we looked at venues and we decided about that, we decided we had to go home to New Jersey to look at them. Yeah. So that was the next thing we did is we planned to fly home. Uh, we kind of did it around our weekend schedule, which right now is Friday, Saturday. Uh, we're leaving Wednesday night, so we're only taking one day off for work for this, which is we're going to use as vacation time. So really not that big of a difference. Yeah. Um, so we, we booked the flight, and the next thing after that, which was really important, is talking to the venue. So we have, what, three or four that we're going to go see? Yeah. So and, yeah. right now uh, we have three planned tours. Uh, one of them is sort of a walk-in whenever you want. At first, we were using our wedding email to contact them, and then we realized it was a whole lot easier to just use the knot. It's yeah. all right there, it's all together, you're not going back and forth on apps and everything. Um, so we did that. The first one we talked to, uh, we set it up, we are gonna only have two full days in New Jersey, so we set up for the first full day, uh, the earliest time we could was 11 a.m. After looking at more venues and deciding which ones we were really gonna see, we pushed that one back to the second day because it's beautiful, uh, it has a very big price range though, like a yeah, it was big, it was like a hundred dollar difference. Um, so it might be out of our budget, so we'd rather see something we know is in our budget. We think it's beautiful, so the first two we're going to see are in our budget. We both like them, but the first one we're going to see is our, our favorite. Um, yeah. I figured if we like it, they give us a good price. We'll just take Nothing it. wrong with it. We're just going to take it. Cancel the rest of the appointments and be enjoy good, some time it's a in New Jersey. Really packed weekend. Yeah. So when you're making your appointments, just make sure that you. We are scheduling about an hour for each venue. You don't know how long you'll be there. You just want to make sure you have enough time. You don't want to be late for an appointment. And then you're going to schedule in your uh, travel time yeah. as well. So one of them is about 40 minutes away from the other. So you just have to make sure that you're budgeting or well, you're you're planning. Yeah, that's around very that. important. Um, so after I made the venue appointments, I made my dress appointments. So there's two places I'm looking at. Uh, the first one is called Bijou Bridal. It's where my sister got her wedding dress. She got her prom dress from there actually too. And we got our bridesmaids dress for her wedding there. Um, I really like all the designers there. They had a really good experience there. I unfortunately was in Tennessee, so I wasn't there with her to get the dress, but I went to all the fittings. Um, so that was really great. I really enjoy them. Look up the designers that your bridal shops have. If they don't have a designer or a type of dress that you think you're going to like, shouldn't go there. Don't, yeah, don't waste the your time. thing we've realized with this is don't waste your time. Don't go to venues that are out of your price range. Don't go to a venue that you're kind of iffy on. Don't go to a bridal shop that doesn't have anything that you like. It's wedding planning takes up a decent amount of time, especially all this, these appointments and everything. You don't want to waste time that you could be doing something that would actually be of worth. Yeah. Um, so I just made those four later on in the evening after my mom got out of work. Funny thing happened the other day. My brother-in-law, Max, saw a billboard that Kleinfeld's uh, from Say Yes to the Dress, the show on TLC, um, they're having a pop-up sample sale in New Jersey about 10 minutes away from my house. Uh, so we're going to go to that. Uh, I'm really, really excited for it. The really, prices, really excited? I'm really, <laughs> guys, I'm really pumped for this. Um, so the prices there are fantastic. Uh, they're all sample dresses or cancellation dresses. Um, I don't know what I'm expecting. I'm expecting it to be really good or really bad, like really busy, or maybe I'll find something I like. Um, I'm sort of expecting to find my dress at Bijou Bridal, but we'll see. You never know what's gonna happen. So that leaves us uh, with our last thing that we've sort of been gathering together. We decided on uh, the attendants we will have in our wedding. Um, and now we're just deciding on what to get them, how to ask them, just that sort of stuff. So that will be on next month. So next month we're going to feature uh, how we're asking our bridesmaids and groomsmen. All my bridesmaids will probably be asked by then. I don't know yeah. about the groomsmen, so I'll definitely hopefully. show the gifts. There should be. Um, hopefully the reactions. Uh, I'll most likely be with all of mine when I'm giving them their gifts. Uh, so maybe I can film yeah. the reactions. That I won't be, be with any, sadly. Yeah. I'll have to mail yeah. yours. Yeah. All right. But yeah, um, to, to kind of recap this and wrap this up, uh, we are going to, like I said, we're going to do this every month and we're going to try to keep, keep it consistent. Expect these on the 6th because that's our, our engagement date. Yeah, so, so it'll be like exactly a month from when we got engaged. This yeah. is where we've gotten so far. Um, yeah. So just next month will be the bridesmaids and groomsmen gifts. We're going to try to film a little bit in New Jersey. Yeah, I don't know um, how much we'll I don't know how much of to. the venues we're going to film. Uh, we can discuss 
our, our thoughts and our planning, our process uh, with all that sort of stuff. Talk about the dress appointments, going to New Jersey, the venue tours, just how we're sort of fitting that all into our daily lives here. I don't really know what the next step in the planning process is. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, like I sort of do. Let's see, guys. Let's, let's see what's next. Oh, we have our engagement pictures. Oh, yeah, that's true. We do have those so coming up very soon. Booking the videographer, band, DJ, musicians. Booking the honeymoon. Oh. We did not talk about that yet. Yes. Some people know where we would like to go, but uh, probably next month. Well, Once we get so. a date, an exact date for our wedding, uh, we can really just dive into honeymoon planning, which yeah. that's going to be up to you, babe. You're going to do all of that. You're going to do all of it. I can't wait for that. Um, and then the uh, ceremony venue so so make sure you check next month um and follow us this is going to be consistent every month so please um like we said in the beginning in the beginning maybe it'll help you maybe it'll distract you from whatever's going on in your life um or maybe you just i don't know like you need reading material in the bathroom i don't know yeah, I, don't <laughs> I don't know, know but i'm excited yeah. this is really uh, cool for us and um you know we share the rest of our lives on our YouTube, um, we share, you know, everyone knows we work at Disney, but when we go to the parks, when we take our trips with our family and everything, this is a huge part of our life. We've yeah. been together almost seven years. It's crazy. Um, so this is just like really big for us and we just wanted to share it with yeah. whoever cares to watch. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you guys on uh, the next one of this. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you in the next one of I don't know what, we have a lot coming out. We have so, a lot coming out. Yeah, <laughs> goodbye, <laughs> see you later.